Hi, I'm Thomas and this is Pilot's Workshop. Welcome to this quick little video. The other week I was once again visiting Martin from Wintergarten to work on his Marvel Machine X. This reminded me about two more parts that I made for him in the last summer, but that I never finished the videos for. So I thought, better now than never. The parts in question are two V-belt pulleys that drive the demagnetizer wheel on MMX. The job sounds straightforward, but was a bit difficult design-wise, as all parts of this machine are. The space around the pulleys underwent a few design changes over time and that way got very narrow. For the smaller one of the two, it was quite a task to fit a pulley that was large enough, while also being possible to mount and get back off the machine when necessary with very tight access from only one side. Because of that, I designed it in a very stacked and fully integrated way, so that the assembled pulley appears as one unit with mounting screw, bearing and everything else secured inside. And before visiting Martin and his machine last summer, I made it on my lathe. Securing the bearing inside the pulley works with a snap ring. I made a small tool for cutting the snap ring groove on my grinder and cut that last. The pulley has a loose connection to the DMAG wheel through a square area. I made that with the help of needle files. And that's the first pulley finished. The second and larger one had a much simpler design since it was nicely encapsulated on both sides and really didn't leave any open questions. However, for this one, the making was a bit tricky because of its larger diameter. So large, in fact, that my small lathe almost got to its limits. And I couldn't hold it in my three-jaw chuck anymore. So first of all, I had to make a simple glue chuck to hold a piece of flat stock. I used super glue to then hold it in place. The biggest task for this part was to reduce the raw stock closer to the final dimensions of the pulley because my lathe also got close to its power limits and constantly slowed down or stopped.
Once the first side was flat and smooth, I took the part off the glue jack and turned it around. I first cleaned up the surface of the jack and then used the center bore I made to position the piece. From here it went straight forward. The pulley had to be connected to the programming wheel with five screws, so I used the lathe to mark the reference circle. Then followed a small geometry exercise. Finally, I put in the keyway and both pulleys were ready to be mounted on MMX and drive the DMAG wheel. So when I visited Martin last summer, I brought them with me and put them in the machine. And here is what it looks like. So see you in the next video. This is Pilot's Workshop. Thank you so much for watching.